sit down, buddy. Sit down. Sit down. There you go. Easy freaking V2 rocket, bro. Would you still care to talk to me? So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino Rikwaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Vanguard Multiplayer. In today's video, we're going to be rocking and rolling with the PPSH-41 from Call of Duty Vanguard here in some multiplayer. And in case you guys didn't know, the low caliber mags on most guns got buffed. Which means that essentially almost every gun got buffed in some manner here in Call of Duty Vanguard Multiplayer. If you guys are curious about how the PPSH got buffed, let's read the patch note right now. The 8mm Nambu 71 round mags magazine got buffed in the sense that it got increased damage from 21 to 27 which is a 29% increase which is huge and it got an increased effective damage range penalty so it won't be as good at farther ranges but that damage increase makes it so that it's one of the fastest killing guns up close and it's absolutely insane. I used the Nambu 71 round mags on the PPSH and crafted the perfect class for the PPSH whereas the fastest fire rate possible and I was absolutely destroying fools with this gun and managed to snag myself a V2 rocket here on some Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer. So you guys are looking for the perfect PPSH super fast fire rate Nambu 71 round mag buff sort of class and you guys just want to spray and bullet hose your enemies this way make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and turn on those post notifications we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers here on the more carnage hero channel so if you guys enjoy some call of duty vanguard multiplayer or cold War multiplayer just call of duty multiplayer in general you've come to the right place also in case you guys didn't know vanguard is actually free to play for the week so if you have not hopped on some call of duty vanguard if you don't have it for some reason you can actually hop on right now if you're just a warzone player and level up your guns or have some fun on some vanguard multiplayer for a week i'll be providing a lot of classes of videos for this next week or so and hopefully you guys will enjoy them but that's enough of me talking let's just get straight to the gameplay the PPSH is absolutely phenomenal, and you guys will see the class setup at the end. But watch the gameplay, because this 71 round mag buff m just maxes out the damage of this gun, and it's beautiful. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's rock and roll to the gameplay. Showing anything, though. I can say that for a fact. You could always, you could always sneak in my way, you know? Just, you know. I'm very good at keeping secrets. Ooh, that was nice right there. Get the hell out of here, hero. Oh, he's so one shot, bro. I'm hella mad. You got dogs? You can definitely get a V2 in this lobby, bro. I would just keep dying in like dumb ways. Like spawns. Spawns is like the number way I die right now. Get out of here. Did he just like... Okay. Bro, I'm just in focus mode right now. I just want to drop. Drop with this low cal. How much did you spray there, buddy? <laughs> oh my god, bro, what kind of class is that? Oh man. What's up, DDJ? Big baller. Shot collar? Okay, I guess we flipping. I want to nuke this dude. Like, I just want to nuke this lobby for that one dude. Like, I want to shoot his fucking body in this game. Oh, we out, we out. We were there for too long. Oh, of course I missed that. Sit down. Okay, this is our nuke right here, bro. I don't care. This is gonna be our nuke. Goodbye, buddy. He's finding this side now. 
But this PPSH is so nice. Run away. This is it right here. This is it right here. This is it. Where are they spawning? Right here again? There you go. Easy freaking V2 rocket, bro. Freaking no recoil PPSH. Just be melting out here, bro. That's how we do it, man. I had to freaking nuke that freaking shotgunner, bro. You just never give up, people. Never give up when trying to V2 is the low-cal mags. You could try it if you want. I think I still prefer the regular caliber mags. This is still, uh, still a fun gun to use. It's, uh, it's a nice little melt machine. Fire rate's kind of uh, addicting to use, I guess you could say. Let me know what you guys think about the PSH low-cal mag buff. It's uh, kind of a vibe out here. Just bodying everybody. Yes, sir. Oh my god, I'm not challenging that anymore. Eat that real quick. Call him the V2. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Sit down. That was so freaking badass there. <laughs> oh man. That's a PPSH for y'all. With those beautiful tracers. Big baller status. Let's go. Those Namu mags. Mm. Feels good, man. Feels good. You love to see it. <clears throat> How do we do? <laughs> Hundred and forty five kills. Not bad. I'll take it. For what it is. Oh man. I'm glad I nuked that dude. <laughs> this dude on top. Shotgunner, bro. Annoying. PPSH. So hope you guys enjoyed that PPSH gameplay on Daz Hot. I really had to nuke that dude. That shotgunner was annoying me all game, and the fact that I nuked them near the end was just so satisfying. Let me know if you guys ever dropped a super satisfying nuke like that where you like nuke a trash talker, like a party that was talking trash to you or something. There's always cool moments like that. And that's the moments I like to highlight here in Call of Duty. But uh, here's a general loadout. Now let's get to the 10 attachments that allowed me to nuke the way that I did here on Call of Duty Vanguard Multiplayer. So for our first attachment, we got the recoil booster, you know, being the muzzle, which gives us extra fire rate. The PPSH already has a super fast fire rate. So by increasing that fire rate even more, you'll have a faster time to kill, which is beautiful. The barrel is going to be the Zac 300 millimeter, which is going to help us with bullet velocity and range, accuracy, recoil control, and accuracy. This is pretty much going to help the PPSH melt at farther ranges, which is really nice because it's an SMG. So if you're ex extending the range a little bit more, you're going to have a lot more consistent time to kill at more areas, which is great. Optics gonna be the slate reflector, just so you have a clean sight picture. Obviously you can use the iron sight to whatever optic you want. I just like the slate reflector because it's really consistent and super clean. The sock that I use is the Empress Custom. I usually don't use this on my PPSH, but with this class, I just felt like I had to for that extra recoil control, extra accuracy, flinch resistance, and recoil recovery. This allows us so the gun can be even more of a laser beam at farther ranges, allowing it to really, really shine with its super fast fire rate. Underbarrel is going to be the M194 Enhanced Off for recoil control and accuracy, so that I have less bloom and this is going to come out even faster at range. And here is the buffed attachment, the 8mm Nambu 71 round mags as our magazine, which is going to give us a ton of recoil control and accuracy, making it even more of a laser beam. Uh, some movement speed and most importantly that increased the fire rate and the damage buff that it got so with the fastest fire rate possible we have this and the recoil booster helping boost the PPSH's already super fast fire rate it has one of the fastest times to kill in the game and it's really easy to use because of that extra recoil control and accuracy i definitely recommend this if you're not comfortable with just running the regular Goranko 71 round mags i personally feel like i preferred the Goranko 71 round more than the nambu but it's all you know personal preference you can even run this as a hip fire build if you wanted to but i just kind of ran it as i did with uh with you know aiming down sights and it, it was pretty effective as you guys saw i dropped a v2 rocket and almost dropped two v2 rockets if i didn't die one off to some dude just spraying at me which was insane but use the non boot. They're pretty effective. Ammo type subsonic to stay off the main map every time we shoot. Rear grip, rubber grip for even more recoil control to make this gun better at range. Proficiency, tight grip to really max out the recoil control of this gun as we sustain our fire. And most importantly, kit being fully loaded so that we can have maximum starting ammo so we don't have to worry about ammo during our V2 rocket streak. And yeah, 
That is our 10 attachment class setup for the PPSH 41 after its Nambu 71 round mag buff. Let me know what you guys think about the PPSH here. Do you guys like it with the Nambu rounds or do you guys like it with the Goranko rounds? I'd love to hear everybody's opinion. I still think this gun is extremely great. I just prefer the Goranko, but the Nambu option is there now, which is nice. I'm glad that they've been buffing the guns here in Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer. What else do you guys think they need to improve on here in Vanguard? But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Vanguard is free to play right now. So if you're a Warzone player watching this and you, you didn't know that, Vanguard is free for the week. So make sure you guys download that Vanguard and try it out. You know, try out these class setups and have some fun. I should have a good amount of class setups for the rest of this week. Anyways, I freaking love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you all.